Hi friends, it's Carolyn Zuck here with Suzuk Stitch. And it is a little after three o'clock in the morning and I'm up and I'm getting ready to take my lift to the airport for StitchCon 2022. Come along with me. Cincinnati I made it it's been a very long day I feel like this day has been like four days all in one but it's been great I'm at the Hyatt place um I made it in safely torrential downpours when we were driving from uh the what the airport <laughs> sorry my brain is a little gone from the airport to our hotel I met some fabulous people already Erica and Kevin, uh, who were on my flight from Salt Lake to Cincinnati, and they were um, in my shuttle, and now we're best friends, so <laughs> that's awesome. I'm so tired. Um, I am. I ordered some food to be door dashed to my hotel room, which I've never done before, so we'll see how well that works out. I'm gonna take a shower, and I'm gonna lay in bed, and I can't wait, it's gonna be glorious. So, I gotta get my rest. Tomorrow's a big day, uh, so I'll see you all soon. Bye. Just keep stitching, just keep stitching. So, so I'm here, morning of StitchCon. This is Julie from New Jersey. Hi. Hi. You gotta say it like New Jersey. Hi. This is Candy from the 614 Stitcher from Ohio. Ohio. We are just sitting and stitching before stitching starts. Before registration starts. <laughs> registration. And yeah, we're just having a relaxing morning. We're gonna go get so in line. New start. Oh, I got, I'm doing a new start. This is With the Needle 2 by Lila Studio. I got a flower done there. And I'll be working on that later today. And we'll check in later. Bye. <laughs> I work on it most days, but so like my goal technically is 200 stitches a day, but then most some days I don't stitch on it, and then some days I use 400. So. Yeah, so I'm yeah. Are you using I'm using called, called for DMC. Look how well it matches your project bag. Yeah. That was by design, I'm sure. Yeah, of course. Good choice. Thanks. Was it twenty eight? I haven't met you. 
I have your party favor. <laughs> 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 Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Carla. Happy birthday to you. Three more hours. She cannot embarrass me. Three more hours. <laughs> <laughs> um, so as I'm editing, I just want to break in real quickly, mess up the flow of the video. Um, but coming up next is the brag table from Weekend A. These projects are absolutely astonishing. So what I recommend you do is um, put down your stitching. It's about 23 minutes and just watch. Um I don't necessarily know the names of these uh, beautiful works that people have done. Um, but So if you are interested in a project, uh, feel free to screen grab it and ask on Facebook. Ask in our Facebook groups if anybody knows what these projects are. I can try to help, but I certainly don't necessarily know all of, it, all of them. Um, so what I, that's what I recommend is just sit down your stitching for a minute. Just watch. For like 23 minutes, you're going to be amazed and astonished at just how very talented um, our stitchers are in our community. So uh, enjoy, enjoy the show.
Hi friends, it's Carolyn here. It is Saturday night, the stitchy room just closed and I'm back in my hotel room. It's been a wonderful, wonderful experience at StitchCon 2022. I'm so glad that I came. Um, I'll do more of a comprehensive uh, overview once I get my thoughts together. Right now I'm tired, <laughs> very tired in a good way, in all positive ways. Um, and you know, I'm a little sad because I just said goodbye to a bunch of wonderful, lovely friends. Some I only knew through FlossTube um, or on Facebook and Messenger before this. Um, you know, Jan, um, I met once for a couple hours when she came to Portland in December, but other than that, um, you know, and Candy, I got to meet Candy, the 614 stitcher in person. I got to meet Becky and Andrea and Julie, who you probably know from the Magazine Monthly Challenge. I mean, there's so many wonderful people that I got to meet um, this weekend, and it was just, the environment is just so lovely. And I meant to film last night, just a little tidbit for you um, to let you know how everything went. And I just kind of crashed. Um, and then so I said, okay, I'll get up early and do it first thing in the morning. Well, they ended up opening the stitchy room a little bit early for us this morning. So I just went straight there and just started stitching and all that. Um, so I didn't get to talk to you yesterday, um, but today, uh, so StitchCon, StitchCon is still going on, uh, tomorrow. However, I have a 7 a.m. flight, so I will not be able to do anything with StitchCon tomorrow, but the Stitchy Room is open tomorrow, and it sounds like there are several people who will be leaving. I am being picked up at 5 o'clock at my hotel from some new friends that I met, um, Emily and Heather, uh, who I met, and they offered to take me to the airport because they were going that way. Their flight leaves 15 minutes after mine, so it worked out, and I'm very grateful for that. Um, but because I just got back to my room, I need to pack and fit everything in. Um, I am thinking about when I will um, show you my haul from StitchCon, because it's a lot of haul. And, but I'll, 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 I'll definitely do that for sure. And um, yeah, I think for right now though, I have to pack and get to bed because the alarm's gonna go off at 4.30. But I will check in with you again and I will put this all together for you for a vlog style. Hopefully it turns out okay. And then I'll be back to my regular floss tubes um, probably next week, depending on when you see this vlog. Anyway, it's been a wonderful, wonderful experience. So I'll talk to you soon. Hi friends, it's Carolyn Zook here with Czook Stitch. And I am in a hotel room in downtown Denver at my conference for work. Today's Saturday, June 18th, 2022. And I have a little bit of a break in between conference sessions today. So I thought I would try to film my um, haul and all of that goodness from StitchCon, which was last weekend for me. Weekend B is going on today. So uh, I know I just, you just saw a little bit um, where I was talking about how wonderful it was. And a week later, I feel exactly the same. Uh, it was such a fantastic experience. Um, a lot of talking, a lot of uh, really wonderful friendships that were formed there. And I'm so uh, just grateful that I got to join and for all the people that I got to meet there. Um, so this section of the vlog is really going to be about things I bought <laughs> and things that were given out as freebies. And then I am actually flying home tomorrow, Sunday, June 19th. Um, and I plan to film a regular floss tube video, uh, either tomorrow or Monday. I actually have Monday off for Juneteenth, uh, in observance of Juneteenth. So I plan to film, um, either tomorrow or Monday, a regular floss tube to actually show you projects that I've worked on. I'm not showing you any projects in this video. I'm just going to show you good stuff. I'm going to have to break this up into sections because I got a lot of really good stuff. Um, so first up, I want to show you kind of things from the beginning of StitchCon. So things that were in our bag and uh, just things that we, that we got. So first up, we got this great um, notebook. This is StitchCon on it with a pen. Uh, which came in very useful for writing down notes and people's contact information. So we got that in our bag. And the bag we got is this lovely tote. This is StitchCon. Um, it's going to be so great for taking your stitching, 
um, you know, to the stitching shop or to other conventions. So this is going to get a lot of use, and I'm really grateful to have that. Then I sat at a table with, uh oh, that fell on the floor. I sat at a table um, with Candy, the 614 stitcher. She was at my table, and she made these beautiful placemats for uh, each of the table mates. Um, mine has a little dirty. And of course, she customized this for me because she knows blue is my favorite color, and she knows that daisies are my favorite flower. So we have blue daisies, and then this is the back. So this um, was a really nice way to kind of for me to try to keep my stuff on this placemat at the tables. It didn't always work, um, but I love it. So Candy, thank you so much. This was so generous and she let me take it home, which I love. So I love using this for retreats. So that will be my retreat placemat. And then, um, you know, my logo that you all have seen now um, was designed by Athena Stitching Goddess Designs. And so she dropped off this uh, canvas tote bag that she made, Stitching Goddess Designs, uh, which was lovely. Thank you so much, Athena, um, for that. So this will come in handy too. I love these types of tote bags. They are so useful when you don't need something really big and bulky. I swear to you, <laughs> I have not been home in 10 days and there is a cat hair on that. My own cat, I can tell. It's my own cat. Anyway, um, so that was uh, placed uh, on my on my table. All right, so let me pile this up, and then let me grab something. Okay, and then we had these cards, uh, like uh, play. Uh, what do you call it? Table place place cards. Table place cards. So on one side it says my name, on the other side it says stitching with friends at StitchCon 2022, and my name, which I think is lovely. Of course, I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna put it right here in the pocket. And then I got a couple of uh, late or early, depending on how you look at it, uh, birthday gifts. So first up is my friend Andrea, who got me a couple of gifts. And I'm going to, there's a naughty word on this. So I'm going to try to cover it up to not offend anybody. So she got me these really cute socks, and they say my cat is cool as F. Um, and apparently Ronnie helped her pick these out. So thank you, Andrea and Ronnie, for these really cute kitty socks and then she also got me this gorgeous pair of Bowen um, uh, embroidery scissors um, they're called mini soft touch soft touch baby scissors uh, two and a quarter inches in red I cannot wait to get these home um, taking very good care of them and I'm not gonna use them till I get home so thank you so much Andrea for that those beautiful gifts and then um, right next to me um, sat Jan Hicks of Jan Hicks Creates, uh, another good friend of mine, and she got me this beautiful card. Look at this envelope. Even this envelope is beautiful. I like the leaning. This is Leaning Tree. I like that company a lot. And then this is the sweet card. We had, I mean, sitting next, sitting at our table, like we had so much laughter and, and joy and ridiculousness. So. Um, it was really, really special and wonderful to sit um, with these ladies for three days. Um, I wish it was so much longer. Um, but I sat right next to Jan on one side of me and Julie on the other. And we had such a wonderful, wonderful time together. So first up, Jan got me this lovely little canvas bag. I mean, look at that color. I just love that. Florals and blue. She knows the way to my heart. So she got me some these are some samples of mrs sadis silks she told me the name of names of them and you know jan i'm not going to remember the names of them but they're beautiful oops they are so beautiful look at these variegation variegated colors and um that blue so pretty so pretty um yeah and then the card holders that come with it and then she got me these needles. These are needles. I'm not going to try to pronounce that. I'll show it to you instead, and then you can um, look it up if you want. Um, how am I doing? Beautiful needles, which I can't wait to try out. Lovely. 
I, I thought this was a matchbook case at first. Um, and then she got me this lovely um, Foss Keep. I love everything about this. I love the pretty ladies. I love the vintage charm. I love the colors in the back as well. It's just, I love it. It's just, she just hit the nail on the head with who I am and my style. And then we'll talk more about this in a, later, but a lot of people were trading floss tags around. And so Jan gave me a couple of sets of her floss tags. This is, I'll have to show them to you because these are, um, this is her Seasons in Lace project. And I don't want to take the thing off. And then there's some, okay, I'll take the thing off. So, so she gave a set, right, of the Seasons in Lace, and then there's some close-ups. And then on the back is her in information and then the thread color, and you can punch your own holes in them. So some people, so these were tra like trading cards, really, at Weekend A. I'm sure at Weekend B, too. Um, so I have so many of them to show you. Um, so that's her Seasons in Lace of lace and then she got me this beautiful this is 32 count 28 count <laughs> um, vintage country mocha linen uh, so this is a nice big piece look at how big that is so that is lovely and I'm sure will be put to good use actually I already have something in mind for it um, so that was from Jan. So Jan, thank you so much. Um, you're such a doll and such a dear friend. And you know, when you um, you meet people online and you interact, and Jan and I have um, FaceTimed a lot and, you know, that type of thing. Um, but then when you spend, it's a little different, you know, when you spend three days together and it was just so lovely to spend three days with her. Now, I want to show you this is a bunch of the floss tags, the floss drop tags. Um, but first, I think I'm gonna show you this. So, uh, Black Needle Society was handing out these uh, retreat in a box boxes, which is lovely. This is, you know, their business model, right? And inside is this cute little ruler. Uh, it's not, it's like a corner gauge, basically. And you can attach it to, you know, whatever you want. You could use it as a zipper pull if you wanted. And then they have these really nice packaged thread drops with a couple hooks to hook them together. And then also a Black Needle Society sticker. So that came in that. And so these were all just kind of giveaways. You meet people, you introduce yourselves, you walk around the room. Um, and people were giving out freebies. So this was very nice of them. If I can get it closed. This user error, of course. Okay, so we got that. And then it was Carla, Carla from um, Craft Addict K. It was her 50th birthday. I believe it was Saturday. Uh, and so she was handing out party favors for her 50th. Um, so these are stickers put on these black um, Altoid tins. And inside, how fun is this? this is, if I can get it out. So inside is this celebrating the big 5-0 floss tags, floss drops, and with these fun little happy birthday, another year down, a lot more to come. Start what you want to start, stitch what you want to stitch. And then follow me on FlossTube at Craft Attic K. And you can see they have the hole for the main floss and then a hole up here for any extras. And then attached to it was this little charm and mine says Brave, which my little sign here. I'm not doing great. <laughs> it says Brave. Also in here was... Uh, uh, 310 <laughs> and um, this has a needle mat attached to it but this is like a little um, zipper pull and it says happy birthday so you could use this as a needle minder and a zipper pull and then they had these 
cute little um, packages. And inside was a John James Petite size 26 needle. I have never, they look really small. I have been meaning to try the Petites, but I have never bought them. So I'm super excited to try that. So that was what was in um, Carla's party favors. If she's the one with the birthday. We should be giving her the gifts. But no, she gave us the gifts. So that was super fun. And you saw earlier in this video us singing to her, um, which was also really fun. Okay, I'll put that back properly later. All right, so then uh, they had um, Barbara and, and uh, Steph um, were listing off all the states for people, where people were from, and said, you know, stand up if you're from the state. Where well, there are only two people, I don't know why I'm doing three, two people from Oregon, myself, obviously, and then Wendy. And so Wendy has bags by Wendy, and so she was coming around... Uh, she had made a few of these bags. Let me take out the goodies inside. Um, I'll show you in a minute. She had these bags that she she just had a few made, and she let me pick one out. And, of course, I picked out the I Love Portland, um, Multnomah Falls bag, Old Town. This is all just, like, things of Portland. And in the back is this beautiful, like, forest green fabric. And then the zipper pull says... Happy day on it. There you go. So that is great. And I'm storing my needle minders in it. And I kind of just have random things in here too. Like somebody was handing out their floss tags and they were handing out these cable, you know, where you put them together and then you twist this and it makes a ring. So that I sometimes use um, as a, to hold like floss if they're on drops. So I, a bunch of needle minders. I think these ones I'm going to show you are all from Carla from Craft Out at K. She was sitting right, um, right next to my table. We were trying to sit near each other. And so I got, you know, towards the end, people, people are saying, you know, please take, take it. I don't want to take it home with me. I thought this one was so pretty. So she was very generous. They just snapped together. And then this one, planner's got a plan. So I know those are from Carla. Some of these I don't know, unfortunately, who they are from. Although this one says it, but I can't quite read it. But um, this is YouTube video. Isn't that cute? I think it's so darling. Um, but I don't know who, who that's from. I got this llama one. Again, I don't know who it's from. Darling, I should be set on needle minders for a long time. Then this is uh, Stacy Stacy Stitches. It's Stacy Clark. Quit bitching, get stitching is what it says. And then she also has a bunch uh, or some mini project cards for you to add. And then I got a Z needle minder, which I'm super excited about. Um, you know, I mean, I'm worth 10 points in Scrabble. <laughs> That's fun. Uh, this is Wendy, uh, Bags by Wendy. Wendy Steele, um, she also is handing out needle minders. This is her, she's Wendy in Neverland, so this is her email. She also has bags, so look her up on Instagram, Bags by Wendy. Look her up on YouTube, Wendy in Neverland. And she, um, this is a um, Peter Pan needle minder, and she added the glitter to represent Tinkerbell, which I think is so cute. This is a criminally creative podcast. Um, criminally creative. Susan um, cites, and this is her needle minder. Isn't that funny? I think that's so cute. And then, I'm not sure I got this from either. This is a little, like, a zipper pull. It's blue. I love it. It's darling. I'm terrified I'm going to lose that. And then at the end, so I've never been, this is my first stitch con. So at the end, they um, said, you know, make sure you grab your parting gift. And so what it is, is it's um, things to put together to make a, a zipper pull or whatever you want, really. And it says 2022. There's a scissors charm. There's a tag. My tag says inspire. 
I don't know how well you can see that, but I'll put it together and show it to you later. So oops, that's what I kept in this bag. Now, this other bag is, mm, there's some pens and pencils, but it's mostly floss tapes. And I am going to go through each one very quickly because I want to, people took a lot of time and money to create these. And so, and they were very generous with their time and their money to share them. So I want to make sure that um, I'm at least showing them. Now, not everybody had um, their contact information on them. So some of them, I might not know who, who they are. Um, but this is um, from House of Stitch and Stash. And these are floss tags. Look how beautiful they are. And with that beautiful little charm. Love that. And then on the back, you have space for your information. We got these with the floss. And on the back, it just says floss, num floss name and number. So like I said, some people um, punched them. Some people didn't. This is by Carlene Jewett. You can find her on Instagram at CanBeSweet. Love that. <laughs> this is Pancake, the cat. This is by Phyllis at um, Instagram at Phyllis, oops, Philly H423. I miss my boys so very much. It's ridiculous how much I miss them. This is a pen by Wild Violet Cross Stitch. It has some patterns out. This is a pencil from the Proper Stitcher. It's upside down. <laughs> How am I doing? Oh my gosh, I think I'm ready to go home. <laughs> oh, here are some more needle minders. This is by Handmade with Love um, from Alexis by Amazing World. I met Alexis. She is darling. I love her. She is such a dear. Um, I don't know if she knows who I am, but I think she's darling. So she made these with just like scraps of fabric. Uh, uh, I mean, that's amazing. There's the Instagram of Floss Tube, Alexis by Amazing World. Here's another, this is California Poppy by Sandy E. Look at that. So pretty. I mean, this is a really heavy one, too. Really heavy one. Um, here's a pen. Did I steal this? I don't think I stole this. If I stole it from you and you need it back, let me know. There's no, it's not, um, there's no signing on it. There's no name on it. I don't think I stole someone's pen. I'm an honest person, you guys. Okay, so this one is uh, from Vicki Fenny um, from College Station, Texas. Look at those beautiful flowers. And then here is her Instagram, V Fenny. Oh, I just love, I just, I love flowers, you guys. <laughs> I don't know if you can see this. This is from the proper stitcher. How funny is that? That's so funny. And then you can kind of see her tag on the back there. This is um, Steph and Pam were handing out pictures from when they were young. That's little Steph. And this is little Pam. I'm going to keep those and sell them on eBay. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm not really going to sell them on eBay. <laughs> um, I'm going to treasure them and use them for blackmail later on. Um, this is from Emily Gale, the Kutsu Queen. Look how pretty those are. And then here's her information, um, if my finger won't hold it up. So you can maybe take a picture. Blog is the thekutsuqueen.com, email, and then there's a QR code. I don't know what the QR code is for. This is Basic Stitches. This is... Jamie X Stitch um, on Instagram and Facebook, and uh, their floss tube is called Basic Stitches. This is Little Stitch Girl. Uh, Jordan X Stitch, Little Stitch Girl. So here's some information for her. I'm going to fix this real quick so they don't all go flying. Okay. This is another needle miner um, from Bees and Tees Stitching. Let me show you this. So there's a YouTube and an Instagram. Bees and Tees Stitching, and they were giving out this needle miner straight out of thread. How cute is that? 
And they were also giving away a needle with it, which I um, put elsewhere so I wouldn't lose it because I was worried about losing that needle. Um, okay, so we have another mini bag within the bigger bag. Again, I'm going through these because people spent time and money and energy creating them, and I think they're so darling. So this is by uh, Martha X Stitch Crazy on Instagram. I love that piece. My soul is is fed with needle and thread. I need to get a I need to get a chart that says that. Um, and then here's her Instagram, Martha X Stitch Crazy. This is oh I oops I got that. That's Emily Gales. I think I snuck two of them. <laughs> this is my new friend Becky and Bruno. Um, this is Rebecca A. Parker. Here, I'll show you. On Instagram. She sat at my table, too, so I finally got to meet Becky. Um, I, um, she's friends with my friend Andrea, and, yeah, so it was great. I've heard a lot about her, you know, kind of over the years, and it was great to, uh, meet her and have her sit at the table and get to talk to her and get to know her. We had dinner a couple times together, so... Here's another one. There's no identifying information on this, so I can't remember who sent that or gave that to me. This is by AJ the Quilting Pot. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. And then there's nothing on the back. <laughs> this is Michelle. Look how funny those are. Michelle Q. Guffey at MQG123 on Instagram. And she was telling me she bought a, um, what is it, uh, is it a sewing table, antique sewing table, and inside, or maybe it was a desk, I can't remember, and inside she said there were a bunch of like old playing cards, and she wasn't sure what to do with them, so she turned them into floss drops because they had these really cute backings on them. I thought that was such a smart way to re reuse something, right? Um this, there's no information, but I love the picture. And there's a place for your DMC. This is Wild Violet Cross Stitch. I'm not going to show the back or the front because there's a QR code for a free cross, cross stitch pattern, and I'm not sure if it's intended for the general public or if it's just for stitch con goers. So I'm not, I'm not going to share that one. And there's these purple ones, which are so pretty. This is, again, by Wild Violet Cross Stitch. Here, I can show you her information here. Wildviolet.co. This is by Sanctum Stitching. Okay, get this. I know I got a couple of these. Um, this is a needle bed so that they made them, right, with a scrapbook paper. And then here's their, their um, logo. They hand carved the stamp to make this, this logo. Hand carved. That stamp is handmade by them. Fawn and Sean of Sanctum Stitching. If you are not following them, they are the sweetest people. I was so thrilled to get to meet them in person. Look at this. This is Egypt Garden Mandala by Chatelaine, stitched by Judy City Stitcher. And here's some information here. If you want to capture that QR code, I'm not sure what it goes to. Oh, here are more of, of these. So I already showed you those. And then they were giving away um, some silk. It's a Clayton silk, sample silk. So I got a couple of these. Handivefibers.com. 100% silk. And they're both mystery colors. So I got this red and this green. And I think I know the piece that I will stitch this with. 8.7 yards if I have enough. Um, and I will show you that in my regular floss tube tomorrow. I think I'm going to film tomorrow, but I might get home and be really tired. Um, oh, I got a second one of these. Whoops. <laughs> okay. So this is Lucy and Ethel's Stitching Adventures, Instagram Stitching Sherry. So you can capture that. And there's some DMs, picture of DMC, or not DMC, color and cotton, it looks like floss. And I mean, look at this charm. Look at this charm. You know I picked the charm with the llama. 
Bama's or alpacas. I'm sorry, I really don't know the difference, and I should, since I claim to love them. This is by Memphis Sarah E. So these are all pictures that they took around Memphis and made them into floss drops, which I thought was really, uh, really fun. Right, show you your their hometown. And let me show you the back so you can capture that if you want. Visit me on Flossy at Instagram at Memphis Sarah E. I think these were on the freebie table, which I haven't quite gotten to the freebie table yet, but I grabbed these from the freebie table. They were just in with my floss traps. Okay, so this, how darling is this? The pretty butterflies. And. This is Craft Attic K. Kay, Carla and Samantha, they were both there. Um, so you can check them out on FlossTube, YouTube, FlossTube or YouTube, Instagram or YouTube, and then there's your email if you need to, to contact her. I'm with it. Oh, here's some more um, needle minders. So this is Lynn, Lynn X. Um, Stitches Creates. She was giving out the Snoopy ones, which are so darling. And here's her information. She has an Instagram, email, and a YouTube. I do watch her on YouTube. This, my friend Andrea made for me. It's a blue C. She stitched it for me. No, I lied. She didn't stitch it for me. Um, she was stitching a sampler and like had messed up. And I'm not sure where how she messed up. Um, but she said, I messed it up and I had to restart it, but I had already stitched some of the alphabet. So what she did is she took pieces from the alphabet and made needle minders and gave them to people who had those initials, which I thought was a, such a great, a great use to, you know, a great way to use up a sampler that you've messed up on instead of just throwing it. Julie, Julie Dixon, who, um, she, Instagram is CJ's underscore stitching corner. She had the most darling little needle minders. I love these. These are like buttons. I think they're so cute. She sat on the other side of me. Um, so that was really fun to get to chat with her and talk to her. And she's often on our Zoom calls as well. So you probably know her. And then um, Rebel Stitcher was there. So she was handing out these um, needle minders. And then let me show you rebelstitcher.com. She has... Original design miners, enamel miners, resin miners, floss, fabric, charts, scissors, holders, and stickers. And she's just recently started uh, designing, and I'll show you that in a little bit. But you can follow her on Instagram at Rebel Stitcher Designs and Rebel Stitcher on FlossTube. I'm embarrassed I don't follow her on FlossTube. These were candy from the 614 Stitchers Floss Tags the state of Ohio, and then on the back you have floss type, floss color, chart symbol, and then Candy the 614 Stitcher on Instagram, and there's her email as well. Um, if you love her on FlossTube, she is like, like I love her on FlossTube, and I love her even more in person if that's possible. She's just absolutely a gem. Um, okay. I have these, and I can't remember... You all probably know. It was a caricature that they got drawn of them. And I'm embarrassed. I don't know. I should know. I should know. But they're not. They're not. I don't have a cheat sheet. So this one is, um, says, my sewing space is my happy place. Isn't that darling? Again, there's no information. So I can't remember who gave me this. But And then we have a zipper pull and then a threader, which I thought was such a cute idea to put it all on one right and you have your threader right there with your floss so I thought that was such a great idea let me move these over here then we have um floss brand we have stitching in southwest Virginia let me open this oh the cable tie this is what this was for so Mary Beth and Leanne stitchcon 2022 um how am I doing <laughs> So they have these beautiful pictures, Southwest Virginia. Some of these are the same. 
there's a different one look at that I just love these pictures and then that's the same and then time flies when you are stitching and then this and then they had this little cover for it which I thought was great and then they were giving out the cable ties separately to put it all together um, so I have to put those together I guess um, or I mean put the cable tie with that so I don't forget that's what I meant um, so this one is Three Creeks Stitchers, Pam and Vicki. Look at those colors. I love those colors. So there's their floss tube, Three Creeks Stitchers, and their email. Look at these. I don't know who gave these out because there's no name, but they're tomatoes. Lovely. And then this is, I can't remember the name of it, but this is that really fancy store in, I think it's in Paris, Cross Stitch Shop. Um, and again, I don't have the name of the person who made these. I just love these for the pictures. I mean, honestly, it's so beautiful. We're getting there, folks. Oh, here's more of the Memphis ones. I won't show those again because I already showed those. Here's another needle minder from Stitching in Southwest Virginia. How darling is that? that with my needle miner. Um, oh, I just got another contact. I love it. She's like, oh, here, let me write down my contact information. It's on a playing card that she got. So I'll put that separately. Okay, so this is Daybreak Stitchery. Look at that. Look how beautiful. Look how many I got. They handed them to me. I didn't steal. <laughs> I promise. Uh, sometimes you did feel like you were stealing because people would, you know, if they went to lunch or something, they would just leave them out on their desk, on their table, and they would say, you know, help yourself or whatever. So you're like, um, I'm taking from your table. This is Sheila Miller, um, F2ROG at Comcast.net. Uh, she has her address on there, and I don't think I'm going to show that. Look at that. Rip it, rip it, rip it. How cute is that? So they're all the same. And then they have this cable tie as well. I think those are so cute. It's a little froggy on them. Here's another uh, needle minder. Um, I don't know. I don't know if it came with this uh, floss drop. This floss drop is Karen Balkanoff from Jacksonville, Florida. Um, and the Instagram is... Here, I'll show it to you, but it kind of got punched out, so I'm not exactly sure, unfortunately. Um, but I also got this needle miner, and I don't know if I just stuck it on a thread drop or if it actually goes with that. Put it over there, and I'll put the flash drop over there. All right. I mean, if you need ideas for floss tags, these are such great ideas. Okay, so Brenda and the Cereal Starter. I handed these out. Look at these cute. Are these all the same? Some of them are the same. Okay, so these are all the same from Brendan the Cereal Starter. These are also from Brendan the Cereal Starter, but they're different. There you go. So there's that. And then I got another pancake one. And then this is Cross Stitch Fancies, who sell, they're on Instagram at X Stitch Fancies, retreat bags, floss fancies, notion bags, project rolls, finishing through keepsakes, pattern credit, bunny and bee by Teresa Kogut, my personal silk color conversion. Look how beautiful that is. And then here's the information if you want to capture that. Love those. Here's another needle book that I, I borrowed from Sanctum Stitching. She said I could. She said I could take more. And here's another one. I just love the paper and the idea. Okay, so this is Bougie Stitchers. Bougie? Bougie Stitchers. And they are Nancy and Jenny, Bougie Stitchers at gmail.com. Fun. This is 
So Suzanne, I'll show you her contact information in a minute. Retreat, you say? I'll pack up my bags. How cute is that? And then you can find her on TikTok, YouTube, and Instagram, all at So Suzanne. Darling. This is another one from Karen Balkanoff. Oh, here's her Instagram. K-B-L-Y-S stitching. See, it helps to get multiples. I knew I was doing it for a reason. This is Dyson Needle um, by Natasha Kellerman. And this is what it looks like. Brand, color, name. And I, I, I imagine she makes these 20-sided dye, too. Happy stitching from Kim Roop of West Virginia on Instagram as H2O Color. She laminated hers. Look at that. SwissCon 2022. Stitching, shopping, friends, new and old, laughing, late nights, eating. So that's really cute. Okay, we're getting down there. Getting down there. All right, so this is... Oh, another one I got from Craft Addict K, Carla. Um, they made these kind of um, floss thread drops as well. A lot of stuff from Carla. Oh, and then in our bags from the StitchCon team were a bunch of stickers, keepsakes. So I love that. And then Julie at our table, Julie Dixon, gave us each... These really beautiful little notebooks. I love the scene on it. And you can just write notes in it and all that, which I thought was a great idea. And a bookmark, which I have been needing. So this is the exchanges. I think that's everything I got from the exchanges. Um, I'm going to take a break. I'm going to eat a little lunch, clean up this mess, and then I'm going to come back with things I bought things that were, um, so a lot of charts, that type of thing, and things I got from the freebie table. So I will be back for you. It'll be just a minute. I, I am back. Thanks for letting me grab a little bit of a lunch in there. So I've cleaned up the table and I brought over the things that I bought and got from the freebie table. Um, so I'd like to share that with you. And some of it, I can't remember if I bought or got from the freebie table. Um, but we'll just go ahead and go through it. Uh, so first up in the annex was this, um, it's like a box uh, made out of rulers. So I think it's beautiful and lovely. So I got this and then from the, this is again from the annex. And then I got this as well. They did have a chart that would fit into here. Um, I did not get the chart. It wasn't really my style. Um, so I don't know how I'm going to use this. Um, some of the ladies standing in line said you can make this a pin cushion and save this for like your scissors and your ore container and all that. Maybe this could be your ore container. I might just use this as a tray in my crafting room. I'm not entirely sure yet, but I got it. I needed it. Um, so I got that. All this stuff I needed, by the way. I did get this is packaged up pretty well. These are walnut shells that I got for finishing. I have never used walnut shells before, but I wanted to give it a try, so I thought I would do that there. Um, okay, so some of this is from Keepsakes. Some of this is from Anna, the Annex. I'm not sure which is which, so we'll just go through it. So first up is this called A Friend So Dear, and it says how sweet it is to have a friend so near and dear. This is by, designed by Judy Whitman from JBW Designs. And it is 171 wide by 91 high. I just thought it was a really sweet piece. So I got that. Then I got a Nora Corbett. This is Electra. They had a, um, you know, they have these um, finished pieces, right? This is from Keepsakes, um, but also in the annex, they had finished pieces that just really made you see what it could become. Um, as we all know, pictures just don't do these things justice, but I thought this was pretty. Um, it's a little on the spooky. It's edging into too spooky for Carolyn. 
but I thought it was really pretty and when it's all done up I just think it's gorgeous and then I also got the bead pack for that just four sets of beads so I got that um I am going to I'll be right back let me move this stuff off the table so I can get to the that's charts. better I don't know if you can hear music in the background my hotel room looks out over the swimming pool and there's music playing so if you hear some thumping in the background that's what it is okay so this next one is from the freebie table and I got this um, some of these freebies I got for you guys because I thought somebody would really love this it's called twinkle twinkle little star also by JBW designs and um, it's just like a little small birth sampler, but it won't take you very long. It's 69 wide by 67 high. I just thought it was so sweet. Um, and you can change it to any colors you want to match the theme of the, the nursery and all that. So I got that. I got this off the freebie table, Awake My Soul and Sing by La Dida. This I got as a giveaway for you all. I got... Um, beautiful things. This is a Lindy Stitches. It says, oh my darling, it's true. Beautiful things have dents and scratches too. I am working on this. Um, so this one is for a giveaway because I already have it, but I thought I would grab that. Another one that I got from the freebie table for a giveaway is this hands-on designs. This is a year of celebrations. And so you get all 12 charts in here. And it also has um, different for July and November. Uh, so if you're Canadian, um, this will work for you as well. So we'll be giving that away. Um, I got this Passages to Peace Stony Creek collection for a friend to see if she wants it, which I will be mailing it to her when I get home. So I just showed that really quickly. I got Let's Sew by Imaginating. Again, from the freebie table, again, as a giveaway. I got this one called Winter Romance by Just Nan uh, from the freebie table. This picture is so hard to see, and I think it doesn't do it justice at all. I think I'm going to try, I think I'm going to try this one. And this is the winter one. Of course, there's the spring, summer, and autumn one. Um, so we'll see. If I decide not to do this one, then I will definitely give that away. This is a heart and hand called Boom Boom. Uh, I got as a giveaway. We got a couple of charts. I'm not going to show them because they're just the charts. A couple of charts in our canvas stitch con bag um, when we checked in. All right, so I got this. Um, I can't remember from Keepsakes, I think. Um, this is called So Much Love by Sue Hills Designs. I got a lot of Sue Hills Designs because I had them all stitched up. So I really liked the sewing machine, the threads. I really liked those. I probably won't stitch the house, but I like the others. This is called Sarah's Spur by Carriage House Samplings. I saw this stitched up in keepsakes. I don't think I would have bought it if I hadn't seen it stitched up. I think it's beautiful. Um, I'll probably leave the alphabet off and like her name and stuff. I'll probably leave that off. But so I got that. I got this drawn thread Alpine Garden, which yes, I am working on an Alpine Garden chatelaine. But this just reminded me, especially because I was getting ready to go to Colorado. So this just reminds me of mountain flowers in Colorado. I think that's really pretty. I got this called the Sanctuary, also by the drawn thread. Look at that. It's like gardens. It's like a variety of gardens. I don't know. It's very intricate. I love it. It reminds me a little bit of Evening in the Park by Chatelaine. I got the StitchCon piece. This is by um, Sue, um, I think, right? Sue Hillis. Yeah, it is by Sue Hillis. 2022 StitchCon, Friends New and Old, Sharing a Common Thread. I just thought that was a great keepsake. Uh, get it? Funny keepsakes uh, from StitchCon. I got this chart um, from Rivaris, which I have been eyeing for a very long time. It's daisies. I needed it. Um, I don't know why I hadn't bought it previously, so I bought it at StitchCon. Because money doesn't count at StitchCon. <laughs> this one I got from the freebie table. Um, this is Ink Circles After the Roses. I believe I have this one already, so 
this is meant as a giveaway. Unless I get home and realize I don't have it, then I'm going to keep it for myself. Um, but I'm pretty sure I have it, and it actually has um, 18 count Ada in it already. So I'll check when I get home, and then I'll give that away. Maybe when I'm ready to start it, we can start it together. This one is from the freebie table, Satsuma Street, and Mary Pear. Andrea brought this over. Andrea is so funny. She would I like I would get up and leave my desk and I would or my table and I would come back and there would be a chart that she grabbed off the freebie table for me sitting there and she said I thought you might like this so I put it on your by your chair and so this is one of those and I think they're darling and it comes with everything you need in the kit so somebody decided that they weren't going to stitch it um, maybe she brought it from home I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I, but it was there waiting for me. I said, I love it. I think it's darling. I'll take it. All right. This is from the freebie table. <laughs> don't laugh at me. Don't laugh at me. I don't have any Teresa Wenslers. So I got the English cottage sampler. Now I don't have plans to start this anytime soon. Um, but when I do, I will probably cut out the alphabet, move the swans up, cut out the alphabet here and then Roman numerals and like move up the border so it will be like maybe to like there with the swans. Super easy, right? Everybody needs a Teresa Wensler. Um, and I love these carousel horses too. So I might need to get them. Um, I think I showed this to my mom. She said, wow, you really like the big charts, don't you? I was like, yeah, I kind of do. Here's the threads. Because if you're not familiar with Teresa Wensler, she does a lot of blends. Which blends aren't hard, they're just annoying, right? Like it's just, you take one strand of one color and another strand of the other and you just stitch like normal. So they're not hard, it's just tiring, right? To kind of be like, oh, I have to, you know, how am I gonna organize these threats is really, I think, the biggest issue. Then I got this from the freebie table because I think it's darling. Uh, Valerie Pfeiffer Trios and it's called Three's a Crowd. I'm going to stitch it, and then, yes, Robin, when I'm done, you can have it for your bird wall. I'll send it over to you. <laughs> this was on the freebie table, which I couldn't believe. I snagged up so fast. This is a Victoria Sampler butterfly lace sampler with that beautiful butterfly, and it had all the silk threads, the accessory pack with it. So I, I grabbed it. It's not normally um, super my style, but... I couldn't turn down a Victoria sampler, and I think it's really pretty, like a really pretty sweet piece. So I grabbed it. Okay, this next piece, this is another freebie from the freebie table. I love it. I can see its potential. Pretty much everybody I've talked to thinks it's not very pretty, but I can see its potential. This is called Penelope of Pods and Puffs by Tempting Tangles. I think the picture is terrible. They stitched it on brown, which in the picture is not coming through as very pretty. I'm not going to stitch it on brown. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to stitch it on. Maybe a really pretty blue, although there's some blues in there that might not show up. Um, but they're like the dandelion puffs. I think that's so pretty. I'm going to give it a shot. I might hate it, but that's okay. Um, I'm going to give it a shot. I think it's pretty. I, I can see its potential. Um, this is stitched on black chocolate by Witch Elt, dark brown, which is pretty. I just, I think the picture isn't doing it justice. So I'm, 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 I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. All right. So this one I bought, um, called Stretching in the Daisies by Lindy Stitches. It's Cats in the Garden Summer Series. Oops. It had daisies and a cat, so I had to get it. It was required by law. I got this called Colorful Cats, designed exclusively for keepsakes. This is a uh, Kitty and Me Designs, and she has several of these, but I thought this one was so pretty. This is supposed to be 310, uh, which is the cat at keepsakes. And no, I did not see 310. I don't think they had her um, there um, during StitchCon at the shop because it was probably so hectic for her. Um, there, there she is. I actually don't know if it's a she or a he, but there she is, 310. 
This one I saw stitched up and I just fell in love. This is Sue Hills Designs Mary Noel. And this is the piece I'm thinking of, the piece of fabric that Jan got me for my birthday. I think this would look absolutely lovely on it. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. It's so pretty in person. It's just like a classic red Christmas sampler. Um, you can use your choice of fabric and colors. There's only one color of thread. And that is... Okay, so she used Zweigert's Natural Belfast Linen and used two strands of Gentle Arts Sampler Thread Schoolhouse Red. So it's just one, one color. I don't know if she says how many, how many skeins you need of it, but anyway, I love that. I think it's so pretty. I got this, a wintry mix, also by Sue Hills Designs. I love this piece. It was also stitched up there. Jan and I are starting this. I can't remember. Jan and I are like into next year with our starts. So I think the year of, hashtag year of Carolyn, or Jan and Carolyn, is going to continue into next year. We're starting this, I think, in December, but I can't remember if it's the first day of winter or the first day of December. We have it written down, um, but I'm going to do this all in one piece, beautiful. Another Sue Hillis. I want Sue Hillis crazy. The sewing machine. I love it. I needed to have it. I think it's beautiful. Two more Sue Hillis. This is called Hearts and Spools. This is book one. Um, and I'm probably going to leave off the words and just do the designs. They're all very similar. I probably could have just not gotten all of them, but I did. So here we go. And here's book two. And I just really love the designs. So I'll take off the words. So this next one is called Women of Honor Sampler. It's by Rebel Stitcher Designs. I love it. So it has a list of influential women, which I think is beautiful. And then I had Colleen sign it for me. Uh, but she was very generous in her time <laughs> uh, taken away from stitching to sign up for me. This one... Um, is another Sue Hillis, but it's not the chart, okay? So don't, it's not the chart. It's an instruction booklet on how to make these stand-up easels um, or flat folds. Um, and they're just using this chart as the example, but, um, you know, there's other. And so I thought this would be a really great resource because it's just like a little booklet. So I picked that up because I think I'm going to want to try to set some flat folds. This next one is a Shannon Christine Designs called Ice Castle. It was another one that uh, Andrea put on my chair and said, I think you might like this. And I said, I do. I love it. I think it's pretty. So I'm going to add that to my stash. And then next up are a bunch of Jan Hicks Creates uh, charts, which I had been meaning to get for a, a while. Um, and now I have them. So there's no excuse, right? So this one is a StitchCon exclusive. Um, it's called Stitch Happiness. It was there stitched up. It is so pretty. I love it so much. And this in here says stitch a little happiness in every day. It's just gorgeous. I got her Seasons in Lace series, which are four. So here's Summer. She uses the MPI silks here, spring silks um, packs from Fat Quarter Shop. So I am in that silk pack um, of the month. So I might change up the colors. I'm not sure yet. Here's winter, um, and then here's fall. I might change up the colors from what she did a little bit, which a lot of people are doing, right? Um, and I'm going to stitch it all in one piece, which is what it's intended for. Um, and so I think it'll be really pretty when it's done. And I've been meaning to get that one for a long time. Uh, and then this last one is Meditation Garden, which a lot of people got. There's a, a stitch along starting for Meditation Garden. I'm not sure when it starts or when the details are, what the details are, but um, so this one might be starting sooner rather than later. And then the last thing I got is I got this beautiful bag. Um, it has little embroidery hoops, uh, little cacti. I, it's Darlene, and this is by Creative Country Girl. Show you the tag. Creative Country Girl, Tammy. So check her out if you like it. And then the back are these adorable scissors. 
and inside it looks like it's just a plain white fabric. So that is my StitchCon haul. <laughs> That's a lot. Um, and this is just all StitchCon. Um, I went somewhere this week in between StitchCon and my work conference. I went somewhere, but I'll save that for the for the floss tube tomorrow. Um, so just kind of some quick final thoughts about StitchCon. Um, I had a blast. It was so much fun. It really is like this wonderful, joyful community. Um, I loved it. I thought it was really, really wonderful. Uh, would I go again? 100,000%? Yes, I would. Um, will I be going next year? Um, maybe not. <laughs> um, Garon Stitchery is doing a, a retreat in uh, Fort Lauderdale next year, and it's two or three weeks before StitchCon. If I could get into the Garon Stitchery um, retreat next year, I will go to that one because I haven't met Gary and Ronnie yet, if you can believe that. Um, so I will go to that one. I can't do both just because, especially from Portland, flying, I mean, flying to Cincinnati is far enough, but flying all the way down to Fort Lauderdale is almost as far as you can go um, diagonally across the United States, just about. Um, so I really can only um, afford both financially and time-wise. It's really hard. This is a difficult time to take off work, um, and so it's been a bit tricky. I mean, I've been working, you know, throughout the week and whatnot, even though I'm taking vacation time and I have the vacation time. It's just a really hard time because I teach the summer school class or the summer class and you know, there's just, I'm helping students prepare their applications. It's just a really difficult time to take off. So to take two long trips um, so close together, it just isn't going to happen. So if I can get into the Garon Stitchery Retreat, I will go to that one next year. Um, if I can't get into theirs, then I will try to get into StitchCon again. Uh, it was wonderful. I stayed at the Hyatt Place Hotel, and it was wonderful. It was so nice to be right there. The rooms were very clean. I'm very particular about my hotel rooms. Um, I get oh, grossed out very easily. Um, I had no problems, no issues. Um, so that was a great, a great place to stay. Um, yeah, it was just a really wonderful. I think it's one of those things that even if you can't afford to go every year or don't intend to go every year, I think it's great if you can just make it a goal to go even once. You will. It just really brings home how special and wonderful this uh, cross-stitch community is, I think. And it was so nice to meet people in person. Um, Sylvia was sitting at a table near me, and she just made me feel so loved and special. And just like so many of you, um, just really, I it was just, it, it's hard to describe. And I think a lot of people who are going to do StitchCon, um, uh, StitchCon, videos are going to say the same thing. It was wonderful. Um, yeah. So those are kind of my final thoughts. If you have specific questions or anything you want me to address or any questions you have about StitchCon, let me know. Um, I did get stitching done, I, um, which I'll show you in my floss tube video. I got most days I got about two and a half hours total throughout the day, which considering how long we were in the stitching room, maybe isn't that much, but it was more than I was expecting to get done, honestly. And I think on the last day, Saturday, I got almost three and a half hours done because we were in the stitching room a bit longer. So I, I'm i pleased with my ability to get some stitching in at StitchCon. Um, I brought five projects, and um, I stitched on three of them at StitchCon. I stitched on, well, and I've stitched on the other two since I've been here at the conference hotel things at this um, conference um, it's very different from StitchCon right because it's very it's more networking from a professional standpoint but um, things do really wind down around 5 p.m. or so and then you're just kind of on your own they do have some you know activities like if you wanted to sign up in advance to go on a um, to go to a Rockies baseball game or something but I'm like I'd rather lock myself in my hotel room at 5 p.m. put on my PJs and stitch so that's what I've been doing, and it's been wonderful to have this time. I am ready to go home. I miss my boys immensely. I've only been gone 10 days. I've been gone longer, um, but I'm just ready. It's been a lot of socializing, which as an introvert really kind of wears me out and tires me down. But um, 
tomorrow morning I'll be home and um, film for you and take a nap. And so I'm going to add um, some photos at the end here of the photos that I have that I took with specific people. And that will be the end of this video. And then I'm going to work on uploading it today. I have no idea how long it's going to take with the Wi-Fi in the hotel, but we'll give it a go and see what we can come up with. Thank you so much for watching and going on this journey with me. Uh, again, if I met you at StitchCon, it was so wonderful to, to and lovely to meet you. I'll see you tomorrow.